Welcome to Running It Back. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Today's guest is Cabby Richards, and now your hosts, Chad Owens and Ryan Kilmaka. Now let's start Running It Back. Let's go. Hey, Cabby, appreciate you so much, brother, for tuning in to the you know, Running It hey. Back podcast. And just for those that are tuning in and watching, look, clap, clap, clap. look we, we, we don't only interview athletes, right? Cabby, I, I say sports is the number one connected to everything you, you would you agree i do agree sports or music but i i think sports connects people more so than mm -hmm. music yeah i mean we see it every four years with the olympics the whole world or the world cup the whole world is tuned in to uh an athletic competition whereas there's nothing else that really brings the whole world together you know for a month or for three weeks so sports is it oh yeah so that's that's what we do man we can talk to literally anybody and that's why we got my good friend cabby well, Cabral, but Cavi <laughs> Richards on today. <laughs> Cavi, does anybody this call you? the first time in history people in Hawaii have ever seen this oh, stupid Hawaii. face. Hawaii, oh. did you he hear went, that? He pronounced it properly. You are the first wow. person outside of Hawaii to say it properly. <laughs> we love I, that. I still, I'm still not sure that I said it you properly. See? I'm only going to say it that one time. And if it was good enough for you guys, then I feel confident. <laughs> hey, everyone I, put I two thumbs up and then add the right. pinky. Boom. Uh, right there. <laughs> that was solid, bro. Was anyway, uh, guys, Cabby uh, and I go way back to my time in Toronto in the CFL. Uh, huge um, TV personnel. Uh, probably one of the best sports uh, interviewers, Cabby. Interviewers, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I one of the was one of the best. Oh, but I listen, was, I was one of them. Yes. No, one of the best sports interviewers who just literally interviewed everybody. Uh, look, thank you so much for being part of this show today, man. And uh, Gabby, like, what are you doing now? I know you're not in Toronto. You're in Las Vegas, man. What are you doing in the Ninth well, Island, as we like to call it? Here? <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, uh, thank you so much for all those times you let me annoy you when you were with the Argos. I don't, I don't know if I got you with, in Saskatchewan, but certainly with the Argos, I, you know, uh, there was a, we did a, I remember this bit we did about uh, the movie Argo. And I was like, were you in it? He was like, yeah. And I was like, I heard you in a scene that got cut out with Ben Affleck. And you have no idea. Like I never tell anybody what I'm gonna <laughs> ask them, but you were so great. You just rolled with the punches and you would have no idea what the, what the H was gonna ask you. But um, I thank you for that. It was you, were, shout out to Ricky Foley Ricky as well. Foley. Who was such a G, you guys were just so much fun. Um, so right now, so I left TSN and I moved to Las Vegas to work with Bleach Report on the betting portfolio. So my whole world is betting now. And I am taking so many L's. As a novice <laughs> in the space, bro, the checking account is just getting battered. It's like oh. my checking account is in the ring with Mike Tyson right now, just taking <laughs> body shots. And I'm like, I'm learning about, bro, I'm betting on like Div 3 college basketball, like what? Samford and Richmond and like Monroe, Illinois or whatever. Like, I, you know, it's so it's, it's cool to be, um, working in this space because it's growing in the US. I believe um, legalized sports betting is legal in 22 states, wow. 14 states have it legal on mobile, which is the key. Mm -hmm. um, and just, I believe it was in November, the state of New Jersey alone, a billion dollars of revenue oh, yeah. just with sports betting. So it's exploding and I'm not sure if all 50 states will embrace it, but they you should. know, once I California, Florida, New York, Texas, they jump in, then it really, that's like a game changer. Yeah. And where, you know, Bleacher wants to be one of the, the first media entities in there, having a lot of fun, building a community, watching people celebrate on Sundays, mm -hmm. you know, when, you know, when the Seahawks or the Rams or the Niners have a cover or win the game, like it's, it's a lot of fun. Man. So wait, hold so on. Cool. I, I got to rewind, bro. So. Yeah. You have to bet. I know. I was just gonna say to, that. Yeah, you're Are you putting your own money down? Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. I mean, it's impossible. Do they not give? You, <laughs> wait, do they not give you money to put down? Is it a requirement down? for you to bet? Do no, they reimburse you? But if everybody else is doing it, 
And maybe that says something about my character that I just follow along with what my friends or right. my colleagues are doing. But it's more fun to watch a game when you have a little, yeah, little it, bucks true, on it. True. Well, so Ryan's a better, right, Ryan? Yeah, but I stopped. For, uh, I'm a terrible better, just like what you're doing, what you're saying. I'm terrible, so I stopped for like three years or four years. or four, It's been about uh, four years <laughs> since I put a So you retired. you retired. I retired. retired. I, retired. I retired a loser, so. I haven't learned my lesson yet, but Ryan, I'm probably close. I'm probably closer than I think to just calling it quits and be like, you know what? I just need to stop this. Let me just report on it as opposed to. <laughs> I didn't know that you were actually betting yourself. That's yeah. awesome. You're, but like, it, again, it's not a requirement, but like if you have six people mm -hmm. that every Sunday or every Thursday night are betting on basketball games or, you know, when, when sports resumed, when we had baseball, there was football, uh, no, sorry, it was baseball, basketball. Um, I sprinkled a little, little bit on hockey, but in those two bubbled sports, it was like impossible not to, to jump in the mix. So, you know, I, there are guys you in, in my Vegas, that are betting on the first inning of baseball game. It just got crazy. Prop bets, yeah. totals, sides. Yeah. I was all in. I'm still all in. Well, wow. you're in Vegas, man. How do you not? But, you know, like it, it, you can't go to the, the Vegas airport and right. not like, oh, let me put, let me put that in real <laughs> that quick. You, you can't, it's, it's all around you. <laughs> it's all around you. But look, they look, get you on the way out. They have all those little <laughs> slot machines and yeah. those lounges. And then there are people every day just sitting there, just trying to hit right. that yeah. last Yeah, well, little, hey, Cavi, hold, hold that thought, brother. We're going to take a quick break. And when okay. we get back, we're going to talk more with Cavi, the betting Richard. Running It Back is brought to you by the Honolulu Star Advertiser, Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union, the Department of Health, and Battery Bills. All right, guys, welcome back to Running It Back. We got Cabby Riches with us. And yeah, Bleacher Report, betting. Cabby, uh, I think Ryan has a specific question for you. Yo, what was... No, you were just talking about the, <laughs> know, the, the strategies and details and, and, and how, yeah, like you know, how, how do you even make like it work? betting division three? And oh, yeah, like, my bad. How do you I just was a lot brain fart? That, that, no, that was just because we, we were just rapping. I didn't know what you wanted to talk. <laughs> we were just rapping. My bad. So like, yeah, man, what are you doing betting division three? You should be betting like get, like teams that you know are going to win. You know, that's, right. that's a smart, that's a smart right. better. You know, I you mean, know how, what? How you didn't my, do that? my thirst has become insatiable. So, yeah, I can bet, you know. The Ohio States and the Alabamas. Yeah, yeah. I can bet on the Lakers and the Clippers, but then like, there's you know college. There's the Eastern Washingtons. There's the yes, Monmouth. Yes, so, like, yes. I, I just get I just get sucked into this world, and I have a lot of friends who do much more research than I do. So I lean on them, but I really should be doing the research myself. Yeah. So Who's that starting I'm not, injuries like, list. You know, oh, eight hundred dollars in the hole on a Tuesday night. You know what I mean? So you know, <laughs> things need to change. I know we're in a new year, and I, I need to pick my spots a little better because I, I haven't been doing that. You know, Vegas Dave. You make friends with um, Vegas. I've heard of him. I've heard of him. I, of I don't know him personally. You got to connect. You got a plug, Ryan? You got a plug for Cabby? No, I just go on Instagram and DM him. Hey, man, what's up? How you doing, my guy? And he usually hits back. <laughs> well, listen, I work with a lady named Kelly Stewart, and she is like when I when I've been to her house, she has multiple. You know, like uh, stockbrokers, they have like six screens open. There's the oh, Matrix yes, over here. Yes. There's the Nasdaq here. Then there's like. Um, uh, you know, there's the oil markets here. There's like so that's that's like she has these kind of data streams before you know she makes her decisions and where she spends her money on on football Sundays or on you know college basketball Saturdays yeah. or college football um, Saturdays. So I lean on her a little bit too, and it's been I've, I've made up for a lot of my losses. Good. And she's Man. wonderful. All right, so taking those kinds of L's, can I be like, what's so? What are you eating, man? Like, how can you? What's the what's the diet like, man? Like, oh, are you able to what, put? You're talking about, yeah, are you able to like? like how are you? How are you nutrition making, or yeah. you're talking about the diet of? Well, of you're the down eight hundred dollars, so on a Tuesday, so that Taco Tuesdays is out, man. Like, yeah. Mac and cheese, like what? What? what are you doing? Listen, in Las Vegas, virtually every fast food joint is a is open and around where I live. So I can I can make it, I can make do with like a five dollar meal. It's not healthy, but it's available. Right. So when I'm down in the dumps, down eight hundred, <laughs> then I know where I can still I still have a few more bucks to, to get a meal. And it's Joe's in my stupid round face. <laughs> how how in, in in Vegas right now? Man, it it, uh, it was like a, a tornado going through, bro. Like a Category Five. It decimated 
uh, Las Vegas. As you know, it's a hospitality town and literally mi gets millions of, of, uh, yeah. of visitors every day. You know, March Madness, like that weekend, is one of the busiest Vegas. in Las Vegas. You know, all the conventions were postponed, were canceled. So it was tough, man. Like um, from March, it's kind of, it's slowly recovering. And there are people that have returned um, to Las Vegas because, you know, some people are just, are having fatigue. Uh, you know, the, the hotels have, are offering great deals, but they've they put in a lot of protocols to make it safer for people visiting. So mm -hmm. you see a, like everywhere there's hand sanitizer, you have to wear masks everywhere, not outside, but certainly inside. Mm -hmm. And they put up plexiglass partitions at, you know, uh, gaming tables, at uh, slot machines, certainly like when you check in. So they're trying to make it as safe as possible to nice. try to get people um, to come back to the city. But it's, man, yeah, a lot of people are in pain there, bro. Oh yeah, I mean, it, it, it is what it is, man. But I think, you know, we're, we're, we're moving on, right? Life's gotta go on and you gotta find a way. And I think that's just, you know, in sports, that's, that's, that's what it is, right? You have those adjustments, you have those sudden changes, you have things, and that's why, that's why I love sports so much. Cause mm -hmm. it teaches, it, it, it taught me everything I believe I needed to know and prepared me for life. I mean, that's just, Cab, you've been around sports, you've interviewed athletes and all, you know all about that. So I think it, it, that's just what we're going through in our life. As, as, as humans, mm -hmm. we just went through a quick little sudden change, you know, making these uh, game time adjustments and we got to move on to the next play. I, and I, I would say it, it should give us uh, some pause and like, which it did because everybody just had to chill for many months but also have some gratitude because mm -hmm. we took sports for granted. And I, I know I did, but then once it was taken away, I was like, Ooh, you know, hopefully, you know, globally people, people take are more grateful for the things that they have and not the things right. that they desire. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. Exactly. Sports so is an escape and I've made a great career at it. So have you, and so, have, you know, thousands of other athletes and people working in the, in the, in the industry, yeah, but it should hopefully hold, hold that thought. Kevin. Hold that thought. Gratitude. We're going to take a quick break. And, we'll, and when we get back, we're going to hear more from Cabby Richards. Running It Back is brought to you by the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Running It Back viewers can get full access subscription for just $9.95 per month. Go to StarAdvertiser.com and click on subscribe and use the code a high thing. All right, guys, welcome back to Running It Back. Uh, we've got a very special guest, my boy, Cabby Richards here. Cabby, um, look, you're doing the Bleacher Report thing, the betting, but I want to go back to our relationship on how I met you as an <laughs> athlete, but not, that's not about me, but your relationship in interviewing athletes. And I know this is something that Kiana wants to, she wants to do <laughs> what, you, what, you, what you did. You know, okay, so okay. man, how was that? Maybe you can annoying. school Kiana on, on, on how to, to get into that game of, of interviewing athletes and what, what is it, journalism or right. just, yeah. So, so I used to intern at, um, Fox sports and I used to work for the production team. So I was more behind the scenes, but anyway, I'm just a huge fan of you because you have a great voice. That, oh, thank you. <laughs> and I'm just so amazed with all the athletes that you've, you know, you've interviewed. So what, I appreciate that. Yeah. So what's the difference with, you know, with what you're doing now? Like, do you miss interviewing athletes or do you like interviewing people, you know, random people on the street about betting? <laughs> like, I do miss it. I, right. I do miss uh, interviewing athletes. There, it was, um, I always tried to be like out of the box, you know, Way color out of outside the of the lines mm -hmm. to use that analogy. And um, I was very, all my content is really lighthearted and I really wanted to lean into the personality of the athletes. I wasn't really there to cover game stories right. or deep analysis. That wasn't really my lane. My lane was more sports and pop culture. So I always wanted to keep it fun. And I, I always tried to make athletes laugh. It wasn't always successful. My batting average was probably like 245, <laughs> but, uh, uh, but I tried, you know, and there were very few people in, in that lane. You know, Bill Simmons is in that lane, uh, less goofy than myself. Um, and I got lucky when I first started because um, there wasn't anybody doing this kind of content before we called it content, before we had that videos, mm -hmm. had that buzzword. Right. Uh, there was a guy named Kenny Main at, at ESPN who who's, has a very dry sense of humor 
and he would write these little sketches with football players. But I was like all bouncing around. It was like I would eat a full bag of Skittles, just jam them down my throat. I would eat them like a pelican and then just have this huge sugar rush. And then I'd be bouncing around like I was being powered by Red Bull and, you know, and Skittles. So um, it took a while for some athletes to get Used comfortable. To get used to your sense of humor. Uh, the late uh, Kobe Bryant. Yeah, hey, RIP, brother. You guys had a tight relationship, hence why I got this. this oh, I love that. On I love today. your jersey, bro. Yeah. I love that. Uh, once Kobe like lowered his guard and allowed me to be 100% the goofball that I am, he enjoyed it. So, which was which was a pleasure uh, for me and I think the audience as well because they saw a different side of him and heard him laugh. And at a time where he wasn't, he was still like the tyrannical competitor that we saw. The Black Mamba. Every yeah. game, dropping 40 or 50 against the Kings or the Trailblazers or just you know crushing that division, Utah. Um, so that yeah. So I got lucky because when I started, no one was really doing that, yeah. and then. It took some time for me to wear down athletes, but once I did, it was it, it produced some pretty good results. But that's what everyone wants to see. Like we all know that they're on the court or the field, you know. But we want to get to know their personal side, and I think you do an amazing job at that. Thank you yeah. very much. Well, Thank you it's that much. time of the show, Cabby, oh. where Kiana shows us when we have no idea what this is, but it's a video, <laughs> okay. the run it back so video. So we're gonna run it back. Right. What we got what here? For? What you got for us, Kiana? Oh my goodness. Cabby oh, yes. presents. Of 2013. So what do we have? <laughs> oh, that's dope. <laughs> like, this is so cool. Like, who gets to do this? <laughs> Hundreds of millions? What did he write here? I think he wrote a hundred million. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and anyway, this video is just super long with all the best interviews that, you know, you've done in 2013. It can go on and on and on and on, but we just wanted to run it back to that moment. Thanks, man. Thank you. I, you know what? Uh, Braun and Kobe, I think. Hey, hey, Cabby, Cabby. Hey, other... hold that thought. Hold that thought. We're going to take a quick break. And when we Let's, get back, okay. I want to, I want to hear about yes. Braun and Kobe. Stay tuned, okay, guys. got it. Running It Back is brought to you by the Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union. Choose them for life. Welcome back to Running It Back. We are brought to you by Battery Bills. Thank you to Battery Bills. Check him out for all of your battery needs. And thank you to the Department of Health. Go to hawaiiopioid.org to get more info. Yes, yeah, so we got Cabby Richards here. So Cabby, man, Braun and Kobe, what were you, what were you saying? Right. So they, I think, had only done two other interviews. And one was for Christmas Day, because sometimes the Lakers and the Cavs would play. And I believe they did one other interview together. It was very hard to bring those two together. But we got lucky at the All-Star wow. Game in Houston. Both athletes had partnerships with Coca-Cola. So they had something called the Global Game. So my producer and I, we pitched so many, I think it was 30 ideas before they settled on that one. And basically, we wanted them to comment on iconic moments in the other person's career. So, mm -hmm. Bron's first championship. And then, uh, and I actually learned that he was left handed. I didn't know that LeBron was left handed. Um, you know, Kobe, yeah, so Kobe, no, um, uh, oh, sorry, Bron also was commenting on Kobe's like 80 iconic 81 point game where he walks off the court and is bent. <laughs> like index finger was like in the air <laughs> yeah. dropped 81 on my toronto raptors it was really cool but it was it was a short moment you know when i'm interviewing athletes we literally get five minutes five to seven minutes sometimes it gets longer but you know the, you know as you know chad i mean you have so many other media resp um, responsibilities uh, responsibilities yeah. or, or uh, and then just your your training you got to get home family stuff so you know uh, it was uh, it was always a, a bit of a mission to get time with um, these A-list guys. Oh, yeah. And, and, and you mentioned something, man, moments. And this is a time of the show where we ask our guests, what is your what is your <laughs> running it back moment, Cabby? And this can be, you know, maybe it's an interview with an athlete or a specific thing that happened in your life, life changing, lesson learned. What's your running it back moment? Wow. Um, I hugged Michael Jordan once for like seven solid seconds like <laughs> long not like one two three four five i'm talking one one thousand two one thousand 
three one thousand, four one thousand. You see how long this is? Five one thousand. Wow. Were you counting like that in his ear? No, but I can like I, his heartbeat changed because he's six six and I'm only six one. So my fat face was pressed against his chest, and I could feel his heartbeat. Just like it was, it was. We were on a golf course, so he's very relaxed. But then as we got to like four one thousand. Uh, it just got faster because he was getting more and more a a agitated and irritated by this like 250 pound sloth just embracing him and just feeling the warmth of another grown man's body on his, which he didn't welcome. But there I was, like a koala bear, just like hugging my dad. Oh, so man. I, was, oh my I would, I'd run that moment back. And listen, it's very weird. On the front end, I'll admit that it's weird. But I, um, but I mean, it was I Michael Jordan. It was Michael Jordan. You know what I mean? Gabby, it was but Michael Jordan. Which, that. hey, look, if that's your running back moment, this is the biggest question of all time. Everyone's still trying to answer. Is he the goat? Michael is the goat. Michael I think is the so. Goat. I'm going to qualify it. Michael is the goat, but LeBron is the best, and Ooh. we are splitting hairs of greatness. But LeBron will have every record and probably double some of like. Double Michael in points, sorry, rebounds, assists, maybe three pointers made, but uh, Michael's resume is greater. But LeBron, I think, when you look at all the basketball skills, dribbling, passing, shooting, rebounding, assists, all those things, defense, I think LeBron is a better player. Wow. It's different. But that's how different. I, that's how I, I make think... that's how I try to make a nuanced argument. It, Michael's it is. resume is greater. LeBron is a better different player. time though. I think I think I think this this day and age is soft, soft. I think we're soft now. Back in the day, there's more there are more more hard fouls. Back in the day, back in well, Michael's day. Um, yeah, I guess more. In, well, in, listen, in, in listen. The 80s. Let's um, uh, we, we're gonna we're gonna talk more. LeBron listen, we're gonna talk. Let's talk more about this. Everybody. Let's talk guess, more about yeah, this. More finesse. In the YouTube, the extended version, because we have to close okay. out okay. this TV right. spot here. Cavi, look, uh, appreciate you for coming on to running it back, man. Uh, thank take you. Take this time Thanks out of your busy betting schedule. I know you got bets to put in. Uh, but look, thank you guys for <laughs> tuning in. Stick around because we're going to continue to talk to Cavi on YouTube in our extended version. Don't forget to follow us on our social media at Running It Back Podcast. Please follow us on our YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. Today's podcast was brought to you by the Honolulu Star Advertiser, Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union, the Hawaii State Department of Health, and Battery Bills. We out.